a disposable cardboard ticket from the Glasgow subway. Uh, the Glasgow subway, which opened in 1896, it's the third oldest underground in the world and probably one of the few that actually runs completely underground. The ticket, I got this uh, in 2017. I wish I'd opened it sooner because it turns out this is quite interesting inside. Because during one of the more recent updates, they changed over to smart cards, and I didn't know this. I went in, uh, got my ticket, and uh, I went over to the turnstiles, and there's usually a slot to put it in. And I was thinking, where's the slot? And then I look at the ticket and thinking, oh, there's no magnetic thing either, but it's a disposable paper ticket. Surely it's not a wireless, a contactless ticket. And I I'd felt a bit silly. I reached over and put it to the... Uh, the card reader and it went beep and the gates opened and I was thinking oh I have to open this but uh, here it is I did open it let me show you what's inside I put it in a saucer of water and gradually rubbed all the layers of cardboard off both sides inside the cardboard is this flexible plastic sheet with the antenna on it and a tiny tiny little chip let me give you a closer look at that Inside the ticket is this foil antenna. It's approximately seven turns uh, round. It has this tiny little chip here. If you look at the original ticket, it's barely feelable through the ticket. There is the tiny little dimple on it here that you can just barely, if you run your fingers across it, you can barely feel that. But the antenna uh, connects to either side of that chip and there's really not much to see. If you look at this, you'll see a bit of splooge round here. I think that's flux because if you look at the actual inside the ticket itself, it looks shiny and metallic. You may see the light reflecting more off that area. It's as if there's a thin tinning of soda on it. And looking up close, there's not much to see. It honestly looks like a little black square that's just been tacked on with soda on either side. Uh, but that forms... The this is the brains of the operation. I don't know if it's I don't know if it, they can write to it or it's just a number, a serial number that then gets loaded into the system so it double checks it when you go up and uh, scan it. But on the other side of the ticket, to create the continuous loop of antenna, there is a bridge from the outer side to the inner side. And the way that's done, I have flipped this image. Yes, the chip is made by, well, the card is made by Confidex. I'll put a link to their website. Confidex is a company that specializes in RFID uh, for stock control and uh, transit tickets. But on the other side, there is this little metal strap and they've punched through. There's a little three by three array of holes here and the same here. And they've basically just crimped it through to make that connection. I'm not sure how, how they get such a good electrical connection one side to the other. Uh, but that's fundamentally it. All we have, if you look at the other side, is the, the overlapping pads here for that chip to solder across. It's worth mentioning the underground. I'll show you a little map of the underground here from Strathclyde Passenger Transport Executive site. The underground is uh, in Glasgow is an outer loop and an inner loop. And it's not, you don't pay for, suppose I got on at St Enoch, which is highly likely, or Buchanan Street, they're the two most likely places I'm going to start a journey. And you went to, well, say I was visiting a prop company in Ibrox, for instance. It's just one fare for all the stations. In fact, you can go down there and with a, you can take a packed lunch with you. You can just ride that all day long if you want. It's a very simple ticketing system. Apparently, I didn't know this at the time, you get a plastic card as well, a reusable one. And if you go for that option, I think, I've, I've not tried this, that with the same price as a return, you can ride it all day. Uh, that's extremely good. That's uh, very impressive. Um, other things worth your note, it does actually pass under the river because uh, it covers quite a large area of Glasgow. Um, other things worth a note, it runs in 600 volts DC. The original train... Uh, system when it was first built in 1896 was cable driven. There was a cable in the middle of the track and uh, the driver actually operated a, a clutch onto that that would grip onto the cable to actually propel it through. What that means is that uh, as you, if this is a station platform, uh, 
the track actually just gradually rides up to that and then it rides back down again. The reason for that was it made it easier for the clutch system to actually, well, they didn't need so much in the way of braking because this, the ramp up helped with the braking for the station, for the train to come into the station. And it also meant that it took a lot of stress off the rope system uh, that it gripped onto. Uh, if it was actually pointing down the way. The advantage of this, since it got electrified, is that it goes like a two-bob rocket. It is so fast. When it takes off, if you're not sitting down, you'll probably end up lying down because it starts off going downhill and it means it's got massive acceleration. It was electrified, though, with a 600-volt DC system and a rail that travels at the side of the tracks with the collector on it. It's a great system. I really like it. I rode the, uh, I rode the original version of it uh, when I was really young. Uh, after they'd converted from the rope to electric in the same trains, and it was very shaky and shuddery, it was great. Uh, but the modern ones are very, very slick. I think it's due for a modernization, modernization with the next couple of years. But that's interesting. I didn't realise that they could put uh, a smart card into... You know, I, I didn't realise they could do that so thin that it's basically in just a paper ticket. Uh, this one is notable. I sh shone a light through it. I shall shine a light through it again. Let's say I focus down onto the ticket so you can actually see this better. If you put a light round the back of it, uh, it's different. Uh, let me see if you can if I can get down closer to this. I'll just zoom in a bit. Can you see that there's actually it's not that clear? I shall try again. That's slightly better. That there's actually three positions the chip there. And there's a only a chip in one of those positions. I wonder why that is. But very neat. I do like the Glasgow Underground. I also like the London Underground. The Underground trains just have a good feeling to them. But there we go. It's surprising where the smart card technology finds its way. I was quite impressed, definitely. Like, it was really just that sub moment of surprise when a paper ticket actually activated a contactless barrier. Very impressive.